Penny, and these are the Kid Vision Kids, and we're here today to find out about comic books. Fantastic. I'm Miss Melissa, and we're here at Lauderdale Comics, where we absolutely love comic books and would love to tell you all about them. Great. And I'm Mr. Kevin. I love comic books so much that I read them and I write them, and I'd like to introduce one of my comics to you today. Would that be cool? Yes. yes. All right, let's go in. Wonderful. Here we go. That's a great question. A comic is a story that's told in a series of pictures, usually accompanied with dialogue and words in the traditional word bubble, and the comics utilize a lot of action words. Oh, I love action words. Mm -hmm. What is an action word? It's something that you do. It's something that you do. What, what do you think an action word is? It's a verb. It's a verb, it's a verb, and it's something that you do. I want to introduce you to somebody special. This is Rob, and he does um, artwork for Kid Vision. Hi kids, I'm gonna draw some action words. Do you like action words? Yes. yes. All right, let's draw some. Uh, who has a good one? Zoom. Zoom. Let's see how we can make that word. What's the first letter in Zoom? Z. So what else can we do to this word to make it more Zoom-like? Oh, you can make jagged lines. Let's make some jagged, jagged lines. lines. There you go. What else could he do? Thunderbolts. Yeah, there you go. It looks like it's Zooming to me. Any mm -hmm. other ideas? Stars. Stars. Zoom. Do you know another action word? Yes. Boom. So boom is a great action word, too. What's the first letter? B. Okay, when I think of boom, I think of some impactful, loud sounds, right? Ooh, that looks like a great boom, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I love it. What's that word? Boom! boom. Do you know an action word? Pow! What does it start with? What letter? E. Could he do to that word to make it look powerful? Wiggle lines. Wiggle lines? And how about stars? Yeah. Good job, I love those words. Great words. Would you like to hear a comic book and we'll look for the action words in it? Yes. Yeah, let's go. Thank you, Rob. You're very welcome. Wonderful. Very Okay hey guys, I brought in The Poodles of Potter's Peak. I actually wrote this. Can I read it to you? Yes. Okay. Five poodles sprang into action. Butterscotchy bounced to the attic. Monty made a mad dash to the bedroom. Pinky pranced to the guest room. Brownie bolts into the kitchen. And Blackie barreled to the picture window. Whitey waited in her closet and tried to find her calm. What did they see? Leo Snyder trying to get in. I don't like the looks of that mustache. Poodles, to the living room. Whitey stays in her closet because she's still afraid. Let's see, we can't call 911, we don't have fingers. We don't speak human also. And we can't let him see us because poodles are so much fun he'd never be scared away. You know what, I have an idea. So they went up into the room and they brushed, brushed because inside the poodles were brushing and primping and styling and clipping and teasing as fast as they could. When Leo finally got in, he was shocked to be met by a gray rhino, a butterscotch hyena, a pink lion, a brown warthog, a black bear, and just peeking out of the closet, the most ferocious little white mouse you ever saw. Well, Leo Snyder <laughs> ran away so quickly. He was promising never to be meanie again. He was so scared. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And when Miss Esther got home and she returned with her chocolate chips, she wondered what had happened while she was away. But the poodles don't speak human, so they never did tell. Isn't it great to have someone read a book to you? Yes. Yes, you can go all on all kinds of adventures with books. Now we're going to talk about the book that was just read to you by Mr. Kevin. We're going to talk about comprehension. Who knows what comprehension means? Reading and remembering. Reading and remembering. We were just read to, so now we're going to remember what we just read. Okay, so now we have how many characters? One, one two, three, four, five, six. And how many action words? Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to match the character to its action word. What did Blackie do? Bolted. Bolt. 
Bolted. Bolted. Where's the word bolted? Number two. Okay. What did Brownie do? Barrel. Where's Barreled. the word barrel? Monty dashed. Is that correct? Yes. And Whitey, Whitey waited. Whitey waited. Pinky France. Butterscotchy bounced. Bounced. Well, you That's guys did problem. a good job. So the characters are nouns. They're people, places, and things. And these are all what kind of people? People, people or animals? What animals. kind of animals were they? Poodles. 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 And action words are verbs. 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 Action words are verbs. Dashed, bolted, barreled, waiting, Bold. pranced, bounced. 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 Those are all action words. Good job. Now we are going to pick a character, any character you want, pick an action word, and we're going to make our own character. Would you like to do that? Yes! Yes, and then we're going to have the Kid Vision comic book. There are a lot of things that are on a comic book page, like we have characters, you can have dogs, cats, or people. We also have action words, words like boom, zoom, and pow. Wow, yes, what else is on a comic book page? Illustration. Illustration. Panels. Panels. Numbers. And numbers to tell you what page you're on. So we're gonna get busy and we're all gonna make a page for a Kid Vision comic book. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Yeah, let's yes. get busy. This is my snake, my powerful snake against a gator. So they're gonna fight. We don't know what's gonna happen next. Ah, uh -huh, so it's a cliffhanger. And, yes. I wanna show this picture because it's an example of everything that we said it was gonna be. It has panels, it has characters, it has words, and it has numbers. This is a tortuga and he starts digging a hole, but we don't know what will happen next. Oh, another cliffhanger. Let's let's look at yours. Let's see what you've drawn. I drew me and I and I um made a superhero about me with my cape. Oh, you are zooming up. That is a great picture. They just keep getting better and better. And Rob, let's see your words. Oh, we just did some other action words that we started oh. on. And then these guys took it to another level, used some of those words, and then they added more. I decided to make a character, and this character was a little bit tired, so he fell down and he went to sleep. Thank you so much. Oh, it was a pleasure. It was oh. great to have you read your own book to us. Very thank good. You. And thank you so much for sharing oh, you're your very story welcome. with We're us. We're happy to have you all join us.